Okay, hello everyone, and welcome to KSP 1.4, I guess. Hello, Juan. And, um, I have clouds. Uh, I just found out before the stream that environmental visual enhancements, uh, was updated for 1.4, so we don't have to go cloudless, so I'm happy about this. I just copied my settings file from the previous installs. Hello, Colony. It's raining because we have clouds. Anyway, um,. <laughs> Uh, so uh, we, we don't have anything in here right now. I did uh, start it up to verify that it would work, but I haven't created a save yet, so who knows? Just catching up on some of the vids, very good. Uh, so obviously we should do sandbox first. I haven't gotten my flag in yet, but we're close enough to being NASA. We're good. Um, <laughs> uh, difficulty options. I don't want to deal with the comm network right now. I don't need them to include stock vessels. I get the strange feeling that I'll want indestructible facilities for now. Clouds are a must, yeah. Okay, um, I, I like to have one of these up front because this is where the docking port assembly goes and have it separate from the rest of the cargo bay. And I just always felt a little bit happier with that sort of arrangement. Uh, blah, blah. Uh, nose cone... Well, not much been new in the way of the nose cones. I guess that's all we have to go for. I, I should be trying to do this quickly so, so it's very impressive how quickly I can make a shuttle, right? Yeah, right. Um, mm -hmm. Oh, the three mounts. Uh, should we have three engines in the back? How many engines should we have in the back? You guys tell me. We'll tilt them... Well, we'll tilt them now. Whatever. Um, no, no, no. Uh, I need snapping. Otherwise, they're not going to tilt the same amount. Two? Now, we need to make the forward uh, docking port assembly, and this this I got from Das the way he did it. So, I just do it the way he does it, because I thought it was a good idea. Or, he used to do it. I don't know if he still does it this way. It so, Das put an extra crew cabin to make sure that this shuttle had enough crew capacity, you see. Thought that was a good idea. Thanks for the bit, Super Brute. And the bit wars have once again begun. <laughs> and uh, the big selling point was that you could actually see out of this window into the cargo bay, so that was nice. I don't know if we should use the biggest fuel cell. Nah. Probably these, a couple of these will be enough. Shall we have four? I think the shuttle had four, right? Oh, uh, well, we could at least make sure that it doesn't uh, get used by... So what we do is, of course, we want to use our advanced tweakables. If I can get the camera in there, right? Um, and we want to make sure that this fuel has... Um, Really, really low priority. I think that's right, right? So, uh, they'll get, it'll get used last, is the thing. It looks like they're basically the good old puff engines. So, the center of mass is here. I'm going to deliberately undo the thrust limiting here. We're going to balance the OMS for an empty cargo bay, but we need the wings on first. Okay, so what was the result of the wings pull? Standard Delta. You guys are boring. See, the thing is, I'm, I'm looking at what it takes to fill in this area right here, is what I'm interested in. I'm not gonna be content to leave that be just a gaping hole or something. Now, the question is, if we use, like, fuel tanks, these fuel tanks, well, that's a lot of mass. And if we don't put the liquid fuel and oxidizer in, it's not going to any good use. I guess you said standard, right? Oh. I don't think so. We need a bigger wing than that. Right? This part does not need to be that big. Is our problem. Nope. We need one of the square ones. Or two of the square ones, actually.
Um, center of mass is pretty far. I mean, center of lift is pretty far back right now. It's only gonna get worse once we put the control surfaces on. Hmm. We never have a big enough control surface to put right there. It's getting pretty far back on that, so why don't I just tuck these in a bit? And feels like everything could move forward. Or we could put some more fuel in the back here. The shuttle can run its OMS for 20 minutes. We've only got 8, so... Yeah, maybe we should just have two of these. Not like that. Well, that certainly saw... Well, partly solved the center mass. Once we are out of fuel, though... It goes back over there. And now... Our wing... Well, this bit isn't properly covering the engines. We could probably keep the wing here if we wanted to. Uh, how heavy are we without the fuel? 36 tons. And with the fuel? 53 tons. That's not bad. It's not horrible. We really need the center of lift to be under the center of mass when we're almost out of fuel. There's no point being balanced when we have a full tank because we're going up into space on the back of another rocket anyway. We don't need the lift to be in the right place. We got a payload to carry up. And we could all, uh, just make sure it's, you know, further in the back, but that's not good enough. This isn't full of liquid fuel, and it's not supposed to. I'm still looking for something to fill in the gap here. So maybe that can help. We're a very long shuttle. I've made this longer than a regular shuttle. Another part of the problem is that since I've made it longer than the regular shuttle, the cockpit mass is bringing the center mass forward. But since I have made a much more powerful, well, m not powerful, but, you know, physically larger shuttle, maybe I can justify the canards. What do you guys think? You say s add six canards. Well, I don't think we can justify six canards. Well, okay, yes we can. But I don't want an all-moving canard necessarily. I mean, I could. Um, I don't know. The thing is, uh, that that piece, this piece, seems to do the trick a lot better than like one of these guys. But what about that? There's this standard canard. But this doesn't do very much at all. I mean, if we use that one, we might need six. Well, that moves it way forward, but then we we need to move the this this portion back to cover the engines. I mean, we could just really annoy people. One tail fin vertical, but we I made a poll and people said they wanted two, so we're doing two because democracy. Well, it has the benefit of not being the usual shuttle. I wish I could put these on a rotating hinge. <laughs> so, so uh, at different times, depending on the cent center of mass, we could rotate them back and forth. You know, I think the Beechcraft Starship had something like that. It had canards that rotated. Uh, no, we shouldn't test with the payload. Uh, the nominal situation is the shuttle's gonna come back down through the atmosphere without a payload, and then we'll adjust with the payload. Uh, whatever payload we have, the center mass of the payload will have to be right there. And then everything will be balanced. Okay, um, uh, aside from that, these are empty. And presumably we're going to end up... I mean, um, we, we're going to empty this, but well, it does have a big effect. It has more of an effect than I thought it was going to have. Okay, I still need to fill that gap in. I think I'm just going to do with do it with wing panels, which is a horrible idea, but here we are. <laughs> Look, did you, did you see how that uh, center of lift moved back when I was just tilting it a little bit? Jeez. So sensitive. Making shells from scratches? Tedious? No. Fascinating. Well, you definitely get 
get to grips with your shuttle in a much more intimate way than if you just pick up a shuttle mod. That's for sure. Anyway, I mean, Kerbal is about building things. It's the it's the time you take building it that makes the explosions worthwhile. Okay, we can't push it any more than that. I mean, if you only took five minutes to build something, the fact that it suddenly explodes on the launch pad doesn't have quite the same effect. It doesn't have the same emotional resonance. Your aim isn't. But nature, nature's aim is to make you explode. <laughs> and if there's a challenge here, it's a challenge between you and nature. As programmed into Kerbal Space Program, of course. Dang it, this is a problem. We have tiny wheels. Why can't they give us proper wheels anyway? High efficiency SSTOs. How high are you talking about? I've I've built the highest efficiency SSTOs, Super Brute. Antimatter. <laughs> so I, I don't know what you mean by high efficiency. You're gonna have to be a little bit more specific. In stock and by price per kilo. Yeah, no, I, I have, but it's been a long time. I don't think I've played stock in more than a year. So I wouldn't I mean it's certainly worth retrying. I'm not gonna be able to compete with the stock specialists like Das and EJ or anything though. I sort of divide my time between things after all. Those who spend all their time doing something, they're they're gonna be specialists in it. Even bother with shuttle and stock system? I like it. I mean, in real life, the shuttle is like the thing you should study if you want to get a wide range of understanding of systems in space, right? It's crude, so you have to have the life support stuff, it's got fuel cells, it's got uh, liquid fuel engines, uh, it's got solid fuel rockets for the boosters, it's got, um, uh, it's got hypergolic engines as well as cryogenic engines, uh, it's got all the RCS thrusters, it's just... You know, uh, it's even got a drogue chute. So it's got a lot of systems on it. Landing gear. Um, heat shielding. You learn about heat shielding from it because it has to come back down. So there's a lot of technologies that go into a shuttle that make it like the most worthwhile system to study. In terms of, if you had to pick one. Yeah, economic. Well, no, it's good to study economics with it, right? I mean... It's a good idea to study the shuttle in terms of space economics. It sure, certainly tells every everybody now thinks they're specialists in sp uh, space economics because because of the shuttle, right? <laughs> they go, oh yeah, well totally the shuttle uh, couldn't have worked. Look at the horrible economics, as if you know at the time they would have known whether it worked or not. How bad is it gonna be if I actually use these engines to try and test it? That center of thrust sorta looks like it's aimed at that. Maybe? Not really. I mean, it's actually aimed a little bit lower. Which means it's probably going to be a disaster. Let's find out. Ah! Ah! Whoa! 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 Oh yeah, stock aerodynamics. That got off the ground in a hurry and... Why is this engine not... Oh! Yeah, stock! <laughs> <clears throat> Wait, why is there an imbalance between liquid... F oh, because of empty tanks, right. It flies fine! Are you kidding me? This is... this is a brilliant airplane. Flying brick my ass. Look at this thing. We're gonna stall like all heck if we don't start going down now. Now, for the record, we do have payload in the bay now, which is our unspent fuel. Now it's a little bit more like a frying, flying brick. Uh, that's not quite right. There we go. 
We do not have RCS on here. We need to put RCS. And a drogue shoot would be really handy right now. Uh, why don't we, like, pre-apply the brakes? Oh yeah, we need to do the split rudder thing or something. Oh, this is so jittery compared to- I need atmospheric autopilot. Oh man, it's so jittery. I can't actually see the runway right now. Ah, ah. Ah! Oh! I think we're down. Perfect! I can still design these things in stock, apparently. Good times! So, our mop event limit is that we're gonna take... Uh, well, we're gonna... I guess we'll test the uh, bringing it back down thing. So, we won't put it on... Uh, decoupler, I mean, docking port. But we'll lock this now. And how much payload is that? That's 27 tons. Ah yes, max thrust on this engine. Somehow missed that. Oh, and one reason why we were twitchy was because some of these are not set to the right thing. This should just be pitch. This should just be pitch. This should be pitch and roll. That's why we were having too much roll. This should just be pitch. This should just be yaw. Okay, RCS though. RCS on the shuttle is really complicated. Bunny ears, yeah, I love bunny ears. I gave them a choice though. I gave them a choice of one, two, or three vertical stabilizers, Keith. They picked two. So we got the bunny ears. I like the bunny ear version though. I let them, uh, I gave them an option of a forward swept wing, but they didn't go for that. Okay. These guys place anywhere. The good thing is they're really high max temp. Wait, where's the center of. Okay, so center of mass is over here. So if we want stuff to push laterally. The easiest place would be like right there. So these will push the nose down, obviously. Okay, and then again, in line with the center of mass as much as we can get it, we need ones to push us forward and back. And they'll look like little nose cannons. Looks a little bit pop mark, but we don't. I mean, we could use the Werner engines, but they're way overpowered and require liquid fuel and oxidize it when we're carrying monopropellant in here. Anyway, these should be plenty powerful enough at 2 kilonewtons. Okay, so we need the same basic idea in the back. We don't want them blowing at the control surface, though. Not that the control surface shouldn't be able to take it, but... Okay, anything else that I've forgotten? I mean, I appreciate we obviously need more canards, but... I mean, of course I should probably uh, tune these like half thrust to balance them out because they're like double the distance from the center of mass. I suppose... Not the not the ones that are pushing down though. I don't want those to be double. We just need that one, that one, and that one doesn't matter because that's that's in plane. Okay, time to talk about how to build a lifter, and we don't actually want the bottom tank. So the secret to making a shuttle. Center of mass up high. Um, make sure this tank drains first. So we'll set that as 10, that 9, that 8. Or 7, fine. In fact, let's do it that way. I don't even want to put the structural part at the bottom here. We don't really have a very good thing to put at the bottom there though. 
That doesn't look right at all. I'll just leave it be. So, uh, nobody mentioned whether they want liquid boosters or solids. So, I'm going to do liquids because I don't like solids. Oh, well, but... I could have just opened up my old shuttle and tried that out. Yeah, we'll just do that later. That has solid boosters. We'll do liquids here. And we'll use the new tanks. SRBs are too weak in stock, it's true. And obviously if we're going to have it like that... Uh, the, the mainsail is not powerful enough though. Hmm... Here's the thing. Um, this side has to have significantly more thrust than this side. <clears throat> And right now that's not the case. Right now we've got 3,000 from this side and 3,000 from this side. That's not good enough. Not the stylishness I was looking for. These are through 10. These are higher priority. We don't want fuel cross... Well, actually, you know what? No, they should finish pretty quickly. Okay, no need for crossfeed there. Let's just... Well, we shouldn't be auto-strutting, right? That's cheating, too. Building SSTO rockets? Yeah, even right now, all my thinking is still realism overhaul. I'm probably overdoing how much we need here. I'm not sure. It's not... Well, you know, mass-wise, we're not that heavy, to be honest. Considering the shuttle's mass right now is 80 tons, we might actually not have enough Delta-V here. Thrust, we're fine. Each of these engines can carry 100 tons to orbit. What is fuel priority? Uh, in the options menu, if you press escape and go to settings, there's a thing called advanced tweakables. And Advanced Tweakables lets you have this fuel priority thing, which lets you determine which fuel tank gets emptied first. And so we're being very careful about... Okay, not that careful. Careful enough about where our fuel is coming from at what time. To make sure everything stays balanced. Um, let's just test it, huh? I think you guys are itching for me to just fly the darn thing. Right? Let's do the whole shuttle engines light first thing. And light the, these with the clamp. Technically there aren't supposed to be any launch clamps on the shuttle. So we're going to add more struts. The shuttle definitely does have struts. Now the separatrons are gonna be the tough part because we really really don't want these to be hitting the wing and... That's just going to take some some practice. Okay, let's see. Okay. Ah, gimbling. Oh, the roll program. Yes. Whoa. Whoa. Okay, we roll. We're rolling. We're rolling. I feel like it is probably wise to do the whole throttle down through max Q thing in this case. I wish I knew my apoapsis. Wish I knew my apoapsis. It lost 1.4 tons? Oh no, I'm just talking about the stop fuel tanks, really. The command modules, I don't think I had any problem with. Okay. I should have throttled up at some point. Ooh, yay! Why do these engines sound like jet engines? That's good enough. Well... Oh, oh no, we did lock the tanks in the middle. Yeah. Okay, away please. I need a new skybox. This might be too much for 
these engines to contribute as far as making orbits concerned. Yeah, we're gonna come back down hard. I'm basically dumping fuel right now. I really, really wish I had some sort of atmosphere autopilot or smart ESS to control this on the way down though. This is gonna be so annoying. Um, we're gonna try and land over here somewhere <laughs> at this point. I need to optimize the trajectory so that we use more more of the external tank fuel next time. I don't know if we've dumped enough fuel to maintain stability here. And that that overheating, oh these things don't have the same heat shielding that the rest of the stuff does. Oops. Forgot about that. We're in trouble. The center of lift is going to be pretty darn far back once we lose these. Which means it's nose heavy now. Yeah, those are actually meant to be vertical stabilizers, so they uh, they do not have the same heat tolerance, and they're on for like airliner stuff. Why do we have airliner parts anyway? Uh, well, I see mountains there. I'm just hoping there isn't too bumpy around here wherever we are. I guess technically we actually should have been keeping as much fuel as possible because. The center of lift is too far back and the center of mass is too far forward with the canards missing. Yeah. So actually having more mass in the back would have been better. Maybe I should actually shift some. Or this could be a horrible idea. I'm not sure. I can see some terrain now. And we're losing... Oh god, that looks horrible. That looks horrible. No, no! 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 Bad terrain! Bad terrain! Oh! Wait. We need... We need an abort system. Kerbals have parachutes now, right? Right. So we need to definitely get the trajectory proper so that we can make sure that we get into orbit instead of killing everyone. <laughs> so the surly bonds or whatever cliff face say. It seemed like we had enough delta V in the external tank to get to orbit. So as long as I I make sure we we manage that properly instead of what we just did. Need more lights. This is true. Any other suggestions? We need a pilot. Well, we need a pilot that can stay intact. We had two pilots on board, technically, the usual two. Uh, yeah, well, that's a shame. I really like these. Just because they would annoy people. I mean, I know somebody would make something like this, and I hate that. That annoys me. Um, I could just give this one more heat tolerance. Is there any reason why this shouldn't have more heat tolerance, guys? put a radiator on it that's a different idea anyway okay fine we'll we'll just use the canards then maybe that'll be enough canarding uh, all my testing out the window make them ablative no the problem is we need them for landing they were ablative lack of power no this is actually how the shuttle was now if we want to add more power yeah we can but the shuttle actually had these guys so that's not unusual. Okay, let me try the keyboard. Oh, keyboard roll, not so good, actually. I'll take it back. Let's not do that. Uh, well, whatever. I'll get this right sometime. But today is not that time. Let's try and not have an inclination this time as well. All over the place. Throw all down, though. No wing? Okay, good. Whew. We'll just keep the engine throttle down. That should ensure that the external tank re-enters. How much do we have left in here? We still got lots and lots of fuel. We can definitely carry a much heavier payload. 
Considering how much thrust we have getting off the launch pad, we could carry a lot in the cargo bay of this shuttle. This is nowhere near our capacity. We're probably a little bit late on this retro burn. We should have done it earlier. Well, we'll just bring the periapsis down to zero and see what happens. Ten large reaction wheels. Well, uh, we automatically get the reaction wheel in the Mark III cockpit, and that's one more reaction wheel than I normally have. Mech Jeb is not the most important mod. The clouds are. Oh, it's maxed out its pitch authority. We can't hold that pitch. Darn it. Come on, try harder. Try harder. Use that reaction wheel. Okay, can we, like, S-turn this thing? Without having it flip out. Uh, I don't think we have a lot of control authority right now. Oh, no, let's not do something bad, please. I at least want to sit down on land somehow. Oh, there's the island there. Don't try this maneuver at home, kids. I might have slowed down too much, but let me try that out. Oh, I did slow down too much. Dang it. Please, must get to island. I don't know what my stall speed is. Especially with 27 tons of cargo in the bay. Come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on. Okay. Oh, no, no, don't go up. Don't go up. Oh. Oh. Ow. Stop that! Stop it, stop it! Ow! 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 <laughs> stop! Okay, oh, I'll use this. Stop! No, no, don't go up again! Uh, ow! Ah! Uh. It's better without the drogue shoot. Ow. Uh, what the? This. I blame the island. I blame the island. I blame the island. And the drogue shoot. Whatever. It works. 